What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you how to do a 360 consistently while wake surfing behind the boat. Keep in mind this video was directed for a skim style wake surfer. However, some of these tips are applicable for a surf style wake surfer as well. Anyways, for the 360, a lot of times I will notice that a lot of people when first attempting this trick, they will end up sort of just shoveling their hand in the water and chucking themselves in that 360 motion. And sometimes it might even work out for them or sometimes it won't work out at all or they'll end up doing 360s sometimes and they'll never actually end up consistent with it. I'd say that the majority of people doing this might not have any board control from any other board sports. They may have never done any other board sports in the past. Say they've never snowboarded or skateboarded or wakeboarded or any sort of boarded in the past. So they don't really have any board control knowledge. So this might be why you end up inconsistent. The first half of the 360 is actually insanely easy. You can just shovel that hand, like I said, and sort of chuck yourself around and get that 360 motion initiated. But the second part of the 360, the second half of it is actually what is sort of most difficult. And I see tons and tons of people end up coming around and they'll shovel the nose or they just don't end up landing the trick. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go over a few things that should help you guys out. The first thing that I think could be very beneficial to help your 360 become more consistent is actually just riding switch with the rope and doing yourself a switch 180. Some of y'all might call this a half cab 180, but hold onto the rope the whole time so you never lose the wave and just do a nice little switch 180 to where you're riding regular again. And just do that back and forth multiple times. You can do it high up on the wave. You can do it down low on the wave. You can do it somewhere in the center of the wave so that you are comfortable with the second half of the 360, no matter where you are on the wave. So no matter how you end up coming out of that 360 you should be comfortable doing the second half of it I do think that this is pretty important because unless you're some sort of professional wake surf athlete which I am definitely not that you are not going to come out of the 360 exactly the same every single time on point every single time so I think it is pretty nice to get comfortable doing that second half of the 360 from all sorts of different places so if you do come around on your 360 and you end up pretty uncomfortable it is very nice because you will be able to recover because you do know how to do the second half of the 360 no matter where you are on the wave. All right, now that we've gotten the second half covered, the first half is easy, remember? The approach you need to take for the 360 while wake surfing behind the boat, you wanna be pretty far back on the wave and you don't need a ton of momentum forward. However, you do need some momentum forward so you don't lose the wave after you do the three. So you can apply a little bit of pressure on that front foot to get that momentum traveling in towards the boat and you won't actually initiate that 360 until you're about halfway down the wave. You don't wanna to be too close to the boat when attempting the 360, and you also don't wanna to be too far away from the boat when attempting the 360. So maybe try a couple different things and sort of see what suits you best. Now that you have that momentum traveling forward towards the boat, just a slight amount of momentum, you can almost just drag your fingertips along the wave all the way up until you're ready to initiate your 360. You don't have to touch the wave at all if you don't want, but I personally just kind of drag my fingertips along the wave, and once I'm ready, to initiate that 360 I can sort of stick my hand a little bit deeper in the water and kind of shovel that water to help me start my momentum I will turn my shoulders away from the boat and I will also look over my rear shoulder to really get that 360 initiated
one thing I have noticed is that using one hand to grab that water to generate your momentum for the 360 is definitely better than using both hands to generate your momentum because if you do end up using both hands, you end up bending your chest over and as you come around that second half of the 360, it sort of almost makes you want to shovel the toes of your board or shovel the nose of your board. Whereas if you use just one hand, you can have your knees bent with your chest up and as you come around the second half of your 360, you're definitely more in control and won't end up shoveling as bad. Now that the momentum has been started for your 360, you don't personally have to do this, but I personally think that it helps out with my consistency on my 360 a lot. I like to break the 360 into two different parts. I like to do a backside 180 and then another same way 180 to finish out the 360. So I will shovel that water, look over my rear shoulder, and I will come around on that backside 180 and sort of try and stop myself at riding switch. And from this point on, it can sort of be similar to whenever you had that rope and you were doing that switch 180. So you can just finish it out with that switch 180. You can pivot your hips around so you're back facing the boat again. You can get back over to that front foot to make sure you keep that momentum and just ride away. Also, if you end up breaking up this trick into two different parts, it's definitely helpful with slowing down the rotation of your 360 because I definitely noticed that a lot of people out there will do a 360, but they actually cannot end up stopping their 360. So if you break it up into two 180s, it's a lot easier to keep everything in control. Anyways, that's how you do the 360 while wake surfing behind the boat more consistently. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future and what kind of tricks you guys wanna learn next. Remember, I'll be uploading a water sports video every second day forever, so make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.